On Tuesday, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki carefully explained to Fox News host Dana Perino that it would take years for the construction of the Keystone XL pipeline to counter the impact of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Take a look at the Fox News clip. But some of the accomplishments that President Biden might point to are now seen by a majority of people in the country to be vulnerabilities, one on the energy front in particular. Is, will there be anything in the speech to talk about reversing some of those policies, for example, either Keystone Pipeline or allowing our oil and gas companies to pursue federal oil and gas leases, even while we try to transition in the future and on a, on, with a smart path to greener energy? Well, I would say, Dana, the president shares the concern about any impact on gas prices, on energy prices for the American people. And that's why a range of options remain on the table. He already recently tapped into the Strategic Petroleum Reserve uh, just last fall, which had an impact. But I would say but the Keystone Pipeline. Mar it, but, but, but the but, impact, Jen, that was pretty, that was a, a blip. blip. Uh, you but know, the, it was a 10 cent thing, but it doesn't last. But, Dana, the policies you mentioned, I, I know Senator, uh, Senator Cotton and others have mentioned these, they, they are not policies that would address the issue at all. Uh, this Keystone Pipeline, it would take years for that to have an impact on prices. Obviously, there are a range of reasons why the president opposes it, but it wasn't functioning, isn't functioning. It would take years. There are also 9,000 approved oil leases that oil companies are not tapping into. So, yes, we all want to take steps to address any raise in uh, gas prices that impact the American people, but we should be very clear about what policies will help and what policies will not help. And over time, we absolutely need to reduce our dependence, and that's something you're seeing mm -hmm. uh, European countries take steps to do as well. I just, just my, that's a point on that is that it took Europe years to get to the point where they were completely dependent or 60 percent dependent on Russia. She on January 21st, 2021, Biden canceled the Keystone XL pipeline project, an expansion of an existing conduit for tar sands oil from Canada to the central United States. The pipeline had been a focus of activism for years, with Barack Obama first rejecting and Donald Trump later approving its construction. The push comes now as tensions continue to escalate between Ukraine and Russia and as gas prices skyrocket across the country. Meanwhile, Biden said Thursday that his administration is doing everything it can to protect American families and businesses from rising prices at the pump, saying we're taking active steps to bring down the cost and American oil and gas companies should not exploit this moment to hike their prices to raise profits, he said. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of The Raw Report, please like and subscribe and join others who like their news raw too.